Hello everyone. So today I will give you some context information about your project. So first I will present you the project as it is usually designed and performed so that you understand in which context you are evolving and developing your own contributions which will be a light version of what is usually carried out by the students. So first, let's talk about what kind of algorithm we want to use in the project. We want the project to be based on fingerprinting algorithms, which require at least locations and samples in the fingerprints. So here, the locations will be x, y, z, coordinates, which are easy to uh, store. And the samples will be RSI values that we'll see a bit later how we do. So um, in your samples, you have MAC addresses associated to RSI size values. So what do the MAC addresses stand for? So since we have to identify for a given RSSI value to which device it is related, we have to pair the RSSI value with the measuring device MAC address, which identifies uniquely the measuring device. As for the RSSI, how do we keep them? We keep a list of the RSSI values for each MAC address for each fingerprint. And this list is the row list of measurements carried out by the measuring device. And then, but only later, it will be post-processed by the positioning server, which will, however, keep all of the values since we can decide to change our algorithm to something more specific, more complex, with more um, values handled. So for instance, we can start with a average value fingerprint system and then uh, change it with a, with a histogram based system. Usually in the project, we use Raspberry Pis and dedicated Wi-Fi cards as measuring devices. So they are transparent for the users and the network. They are like uh, client stations in the network. With Raspbian, we can install pickup library and use it. And the Wi-Fi card we chose can add the radio tap header to every frame that the Raspberry Pi receive. So obviously, you won't be able to use this because it's in the UTBM building and you won't be able to come back before the end of the semester. So you will have to be sure that at least one member of your project team has a laptop with a Wi-Fi card that can make radio tap headers and be put in monitoring mode to do so. So ideally, this person also runs a Linux based system so that every tool is al already available. Then for the mobile devices, we have to ID them. So here again, we use the MAC addresses of the mobile devices so that if there are several mobile devices in the system at the same time, which actually should be the case if your system is popular, the system can identify which RSSI samples for requests are um, related to which mobile device. And each mobile device shall be able to manage HTTP requests 
and responses. So be able to be an HTTP client, which usually is okay for any laptop or mobile phone. And last but not least, our server, it will be one of the Raspberry Pis with a SQLite database, a Flask Python HTTP server, and the SQL HTTP ORM to map the SQLite entities into objects. So you will use one of your computers of the team to run the server. So what tasks do you have to do for the project? And all these tasks will be uh, further defined in the, and detailed in git-info repository. So you have to write a C++ program, which will extract RSI information with PCAP and RadioTap and display the current list of RSSI that you have every second while clearing values that are older than two seconds also each second. So you will use a timer. So from the lecture about PCAP and RadioTap, all you have to do is glue together a bit of the code extracts that I showed you and that would be okay. Then the second part will be to write your server, which will embed your fingerprinting algorithms that you designed in TD. And then you will test your server with the CURL command, which enables you to forge HTTP requests with the get and post method, the parameters, and so on. So that's all for today. You will be informed when I put online the detailed instructions in git-info repository. Goodbye.